Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this video of source free RL circuit, we'll solve a practice problem. Uh, this I had done in my previous video as well, but many students had problem understanding. Uh, so I'll repeat this in more details. Okay, so uh, in this circuit, uh, let's look at this. This the current through inductor is always called I or I T. So this you have to keep in mind. Moreover, let's look at the switch. The switch direction showing that it is going to open at t is equal to 0 or we can say at slightly after t is equal to 0. That means before t is equal to 0 the switch is closed. And we have to, the question says that we have to determine I that is the current through the inductor we can say I L as well. Then I naught this current and V naught voltage across 2 ohm resistance for all t now what does this mean okay so let's see first of all that that for all t generally means that for t less than 0 which will be a steady state in this case because this switch is connected for a long time so the circuit has stabilized or it is in steady state condition and also for t greater than or equal to 0 so when the switch is opened then whatever is the condition that will be for t greater than is equal to 0 and that will be in the transient state or we'll only consider the uh, state transient state because after some time even after opening this after some time the circuit will again become the steady state circuit but we are not concerned about that we only want to know behavior during the initial uh, 5 tau time period or when it is in the uh, transient state. So that means that we have to find the values for t less than 0 and also we have to find the value for t greater than 0. Okay, so now let's look at the circuit for t less than 0 the switch is closed so this is closed here and as we know that in steady state condition the inductor becomes a short circuit so this inductor here will behave like a short circuit in steady state condition so that is why we have shown it with a straight line so this is for t less than 0 or steady state condition now let's see what will happen when the switch is open that means this is disconnected from here that means this current source has nothing to do with the circuit because there is it, no complete path for current flowing and therefore we can do away with this and so our circuit will remain as shown here this is the uh, transient, transient state circuit so this is for t greater than zero so now we'll consider these two uh, cases uh, of time separately. Okay, so uh, we were here, <coughs> 40 less than zero, this was the circuit. And now if you notice, this is short circuit and it is in parallel with three ohms resistor. So if we uh, treat short as a zero ohm to zero ohms pa in parallel with three ohms, will make it zero ohms so this hole should be replaced with a short circuit or you can also say that any resistor uh, which is shorted will become a short circuit or equal to zero so we, we our circuit equivalent circuit will become like this now in this case first of all we are interested to find i zero if you see this 24 ampere current is dividing into two paths the right is I0 and this one is I00 
so by uh, current division rule we can find i0 to be 24 is the total current divided by total resistance 4 plus 2 and multiply by opposite arm 4 so since we are finding in this arm so we multiply by opposite arm which is 4 so this becomes 16 ampere is i0 now i00 uh, can be found from here 24 ampere coming 16 going on this side so remaining will go to i00 so you can say i0 is 24 minus 16 is equal to 8 ampere and now we need to find v00 so this current i0 is coming here touching here is positive so same direction as v0 therefore we can say that v not 0 is equal to resistance multiplied by current so 2 multiplied by i0 or 2 multiplied by i0 was 16 so 32 volt so these are the three uh, values that we got for the steady state condition or for a t less than 0 okay now we are in the transient mode for t greater than 0 this is the circuit and we are interested to find these three parameters it this current it which is also written as simply i similarly this current i0 t i0 t which is also simply written as i0 and the voltage across this two ohm resistor which is v0 t or simply called v0 We know that this is the formula for IT. So I is or IT is equal to I0 e raised to the power minus T over tau. Two unknowns. One is I0 here, this one. Another is tau. I0 we have already calculated from the previous slide. So we'll plug in that value. Now this is the circuit. Simplified you can see these two can be added because they are in series. So the simplified circuit will be like this. And to simplify it further, if you bring all the two resistors on the same side, so these two resistors on the same side, and now you can see these two are in parallel, if you look from the inductor. So we'll calculate these two in parallels. And you know 3 parallel 6 will be equal to 2 and so our further simplified circuit will be this inductor in parallel with 2 ohm resistance. Now from here we can calculate tau as you know uh, the formula for tau is L over R. L is 1 Henry and R equivalent or R is 2 so tau is 1 over 2. So we'll plug in this value for tau in here. And also we'll plug in the value of I0 which we had calculated. This is I0 which was 16 ampere. Same thing I0 or capital I0 is the same thing. And therefore our IT will become 16 e raised to the power minus 2T. When we plug this 1 over 2 this will become 2 here. So this is the current. Now uh, we want to find the other current that is I0T and for this we will uh, simply use the KCL rule. So by CDR you know this is the current. Now two things you have to keep in mind. This current is the main current and it is dividing into two paths. So we are interested in this. So by KCL it will be the total current I divided by these two resistances 6 over 3 and multiply by opposite arm so opposite arm is 3 so this will become the current now one more thing if you note the current direction is different this current is going from left to right whereas the main current i is actually coming from right to left and therefore 
will change the sign of I0. So I0 will be written with the negative sign. And now uh, simplified, this will be 16 over 3 e raised to the power minus 2t when we plug in the uh, values here. And so I0 will be minus 533 e raised to the power minus 2t. And now we need to find V0. So for V0, if we look from here, this is V0. And but two things again to note the current direction. If we take this current, then wherever it is touching, that should be the positive and the other negative, whereas the given sign is opposite. And therefore, when we're writing V0, we have to put a negative sign. So we can write that V0 is equal to negative R or 2 I0. R is 2 ohms, so 2. And I0 is negative this value. So if we plug in that. So our V0 will be 10.67 e raised to the power minus 2t. So all three uh, um, time dependent parameters from here, uh, we have found out, we have found out I, IT, we have found I0 from here, and we have found V0. So these are the uh, transient currents and voltages. So we had two currents, uh, two sets, one was for t less than zero, which we call the steady state values, and the other is for t greater than zero, which are the steady state values. So combining them, we can write the final answer, which will be like this. For example, i is 16 for t less than zero, so we write that, and 16 e raised to the power minus 2t for t greater than zero. And similarly for all others, I0 uh, and V0. And now we'll uh, discuss how you can plot this. So this is the plot. And if you see the difference between this graph, IT graph is what we call is continuous. There is no break. But I0T is, there is a break from 8. It has been jumping to minus uh, 533. So that is why for this we have written an equal sign. And if you put uh, t is equal to 0 in this graph, e raised to the power 0 will be 16. That means at 0 point it is starting from 16. And since it is exponential negative, so it is gradually, it will decrease to 0. On the other case, this one is non-continuous because at t is equal to 0, this will become minus 5. So this is minus 5, but at t less than 0, this is 8, so it is jumping from 8 to minus 5. And this will also gradually with time, it will reach 0. So I hope this uh, gives you an understanding how you can solve this type of a problem. Thank you.